Howdy! So in this video we're going to do a bunch of icon stuff, both with contextual menus, system tray menus, and executable files. So let's uh, go ahead and jump into the first thing, which is an executable. This is pretty simple. So when you get auto hotkeys, it comes with a compiler. And it looks like this. In case you don't know where this is, it's pretty easy to find. You're going to navigate to your main hard drive, go to program files, and right there you're going to see auto hotkey, another folder called compiler, and you're just going to launch this one right here, AHK to EXE, and that's what this is. So you're just going to do browse, so we're just going to pick a few things here at random, just real quick, why not? So, uh, you know, where we're getting our script from, where we want the executable to go, what we want it to be called. And right here is where you're going to play with the icon. So with the icon, uh, it does want an ICO file, and you can get that by going here. So I'll link this in the description below, of course. Uh, there's tons of other websites out of here. Uh, this is just kind of one I googled, and it was the first one that popped up, and it worked just fine for me. So right here, you're just going to choose the file that you want. Uh, you're going to push Upload. Give it a few seconds, depending on the file size. There's a few options here, too. You can play around with, you know, cropping it, giving it shapes and whatnot. And then you're just at the very end, you're just going to say Convert to ICO, and then download the image for yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and browse. And I'm actually going to use this. And I'm going to go ahead and push convert. And so as you see there, it says that I got the wrong file type. So I do need to convert it. Thought I already did, but apparently not. Upload. Big old icon there. I'm not going to do any formatting. Nothing fancy needed. So we're going to push convert ICO. And this can take a little bit. Once it's done, it will, um, there it goes, uh, download your icons. So I'm going to push that. Just save it to my desktop is whatever it's called. I don't really care. Now we should be good. Now let's go ahead and change that to the correct one. So as you see here, uh, down here it says ICO. Now it's actually showing up. So I'm going to push convert. Give it a few seconds there. And there is my new executable file for uh, my script. So that's pretty cool. Uh, if you ever want to, you know, have your own icon or if you're just doing executables, uh, if you don't uh, leave this blank and leave it as default, it just shows that green auto hockey logo with the H on it. So it's up to you what you want to do there. And let's uh, take a look at some code now for the menus. So the first one I'm going to start with is a contextual menu. If you don't know what that is, I have done other videos on how to build these. Um, but I'm just getting a little more detail here as far as icons go. So you're creating your menu, and then you're putting your icon uh, here. And that line of code is pretty simple. Um, you know, it's still that menu, the name of your menu. Uh, but here you're going to put icon. Uh, the next field you're just going to duplicate whatever the title of that item on the menu is. So here I just got test one, so I need to make sure it's exactly the same here, or it won't know where to associate the icon with. Uh, then I'm going to have my icon path. So here I'm using a variable, as you see, with the percentages. Uh, and up here is where I got my icon path. And I'm just using that YouTube uh, PNG that's on my desktop. So when creating an executable, it does have to be an ICO uh, format. Uh, but with menus, it actually doesn't really matter that much. Uh, it doesn't have to be an ICO. As you see here, I'm using PNG, uh, just an image I downloaded off of Google search. Um, the other thing you can do is if you don't want to use a variable like I did here, you can actually hard code the path in. Um, so here, I'm actually pulling from the system's uh, default icons. 
Uh, each update you get, you know, sometimes they change. You know, Windows 7 icons are a different identification than they are in Windows 10, and etc. Um, so here I want to use icon 140, uh, which I believe is the camera picture. We'll find out in a minute. Um, so yeah, you can hard code or you can do a variable. It's up to you. I just showed you both ways, and then we're just going to show the menu. And then down here, I just got some message boxes if you click on an item just because uh, it needs to know where to go uh, in order to show the menu. So I'm going to go ahead and launch that. And I'm going to push F2 as my hotkey right there. And there's our little menu. So as you see, I got that little YouTube icon there for test one. And I was right. It was a camera for uh, icon 140. And I'll show you here in a little bit on how to find out what the ID numbers are for there. Uh, you can Google them, but that's kind of honestly a pain. You're not really going to find a good answer, and you're going to have to test a lot before you find the correct list for your specific operating system and version and all that stuff. All right, let's jump up a little higher here. Um, so with tray icons, it's basically uh, the same thing. You can use a variable or you can hard code uh, just like what path you're calling upon. Um, with this, it's really nice. I can just call upon that Windows file where the icons are stored. So here all I'm doing is menu, tray, icon once again. And then same thing, make sure that you are duplicating the name that you want to associate it with so it knows which row to put the icon in. And I'm going to call upon shell32.dll, and I want to use icon number 18. Like I said, I'll show you a little bit more in detail on the uh, numbers there. So this one's pretty simple. I'm just doing all that. Uh, when you have a tray menu at it, uh, you, by default, it has like that exit, pause, uh, you know, the built-in auto hockey tray menu stuff there. If you want to get rid of those and only display your menu specifically, you can just add this to the beginning of your code where it just says menu tray, no standard. Uh, be careful if you add that uh, because you will lose that close button in order to close your script. And if you don't have like a GUI or some type of hotkey with an exit command, uh, you're going to basically have to push control shift escape in order to close down your actual script. So just be careful if you add that. Just want to throw that in there, even though it's not really icon based. It's always a good warning. So I'm going to adjust my menu here, or uh, screen here real quick so you can actually see my tray a little better. There we go. So I currently have the menu tray no standard commented out. So. Uh, it You know, you see all the normal stuff here, but then there's my items right down here with the icons. So you got menu item one, you know, got that little uh, web icon or whatever that's supposed to be, question mark and caution sign there. You can add as many as you want, you know, go crazy. Uh, you can also add sub menus to these too. You know, that's definitely something that's awesome. But yeah, these icons are really good. So the last thing I want to show you is... How do you know which icon you want to use? So there's actually a really good program. And I'm going to adjust my screen one more time here. There we go. I'll uh, link where you can download this program from, but it's written in AutoHotKeys. It's called ImageList. Uh, it comes both with the uh, code there and the executable, which is really nice. So we're going to run the executable, and the first thing it's going to do is automatically open a explorer here and the great thing is it's automatically going to take you to the correct folder which is uh, your main drive windows system 32. here's where you're going to have to sh uh, search a little bit um, so i'm looking for shell 32 which is right there so shell 32.dll i'm just going to double click on that or you can just push open Give it a few seconds, it's loading, and gives you this little nice GUI with a list view, and you can kind of scroll around and look. So, uh, what we're using, uh, 140 was the camera, so let's go ahead and find 140. Oh, there we are, and there you go, you got the camera right there. 
So this is a great way to kind of know what ID you need. Uh, there's quite a few. I'm on Windows 10 and there's 329 icons. And obviously, if you're using a contextual menu or a tray menu, you don't have to use any of the default icons. You can always jump on Google and find your own or create your own. I've made some in uh, Paint, you know, a simple program like that, and they've looked pretty good. All right. Uh, if you guys have any other icon questions, definitely let me know in the comments below. Uh, I think for the most part, this is what you can do with icons. Uh, I know a lot of people like messing around with pictures, uh, but I have done videos on those in GUIs. Uh, so these are kind of separate things. So definitely check those videos out if you're a little bit interested in those. And definitely subscribe. It helps me out a lot, guys. And I'll see you on the next video. See ya.